hi guys happy new year welcome to year 2022 and this is my first video of 2022 <laughs> thank you guys so far for 2021 and if you're here to subscribe to my channel please do well to subscribe hit the subscribe button and notification bell so when i post a video you'll be the first to watch and let's enjoy 2022 together yes thank you guys for wishing me a happy birthday on the 3rd of january yeah thank you so much for your love your care and your wishes thank you guys so much and my prayer for us this year is that this year is going to be productive it's going to be a blessed year we're going to set new records we're going to be progressive and every of our heart desires for 2022 god is going to grant it unto us in jesus name amen all right guys so let's jump into today's video so i'll be talking about new year resolutions so i'd like to know are they necessary new year new me every year new year new me you're always saying new year new me i just want to know if they are necessary and what do you think about new year resolution so i'll be dropping my own thoughts about it on this video and also i just hope you learn and this is going to bless you okay so as far as i'm concerned new year resolutions are just mere wishes i've left that you know place of calling them resolution and i'll call them goals and i'll tell you the difference between new year resolutions and goals now goals are no wishes goals are like action points action plans okay so now let me give you an example this 2022 i'm going to stop doing this i'm going to stop doing that i want to be slim my tummy must you know go down you know so many things i just wishing wishing i want to be the house i want to buy a car i want to make one million dollars i want to i want to are you not tired that's what you said last year this year you're repeating the same thing too. it's easy for you to say it as a resolution and say okay this is what i want to do and this is what i want to achieve but when you don't turn them into goals they are just mere wishes now your goal is to be is to be slim end of the day you are eating 12 midnight is you that will eat cake eat a bite eat everything but yeah you've written it down somewhere what happens to turn them into goals eating the dream mm? so when you stop in um, resolutions you turn them into goals that is when you can enjoy and achieve and you know do such, so many things for yourself now the first thing i'll tell you is set realistic goals for yourself you line up 50 things that you want to do tell me you want to kill yourself because i don't understand if it's just five things you want to achieve this year you are good to go stop making wishes stop lining up many many things at the end of the day you absolutely do nothing line up five things if it's just five or ten things that you want to achieve this year please set realistic goals for yourself the ones you've not done from 2021 you want to carry them over into this year that's fine just make sure that they are very very realistic don't start wishing and wishing oh this year 2022 i must buy a bentley i must buy a benz what are you doing oh you are sitting down looking at price of car <laughs> i do that mean or you want to buy a house you just take a catalog look at the price of the houses you are just making resolution you're just wishing do you have money to buy those 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 houses those things and have you put plans on what you want to do set realistic goals don't put a necessary pressure on yourself don't say in 2022 i must do so many things at the end of the day you don't even have the resources to do those things set realistic goals for yourself now next thing i will say is set time frame yes it's so easy for you to sit down and write goals realistic goals too but when you don't put time frame towards those goals you will just waste your time by the end of january I want to lose 10 kg or by the end of January, I want to be able to buy this, buy that, learn this skill, learn that skill. So that's what you should do. Put time frame towards all your goals. Sit down. You know, take your time. This thing and this, what I want to do. When do I want to achieve them? I have set my goals. When do I want to achieve my goals? That is what you mean by setting time frame for yourself. So what you need to do is set time frame for your goals. Next thing I want to say again is after setting your realistic goals, putting time frame for those goals, measure your goals. Now, the one way I learned to do this, I was taught by somebody, is have an Excel spreadsheet of all my goals. So I write them down and I write them down according to um, um, what's it called, order of preference. So what I want to do, which one is higher, which one is most important. And then when I do that, I put time, like I put percentage for everything. Let's just say, okay my skills now i want to sharpen my skills i put that on 50 percent i make sure i measure all of them lump sum of everything will now be 100 percentage so 
the higher your preference, the higher the percentage each of them carries. And then when you now do that, you put the time frame also by the side. So by the time you are doing that, you by the time you now come towards the end of the time frame you've set aside, what have you, what percentage have you done so far? Write all the all the skills down. So by January, I want to be able to use this software. I want to be able to use that software. You, that's that's fine. Put the percentage. Then when it's January, go back to those things and see how far you've come. Don't kill yourself. Oh. Don't kill yourself. If January is not fine for you, please put a date that is fine. Don't come and say it's rude that say you should set goals by January. I did not send you. If you want, just make sure that you put nice time frame, good time frame. Be calm, be, be comfortable. Don't get too comfortable too at the same time. But put a time frame that is convenient. Exactly, that's the word. Put a time frame that is very, very convenient for you. Don't deceive yourself. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just put a normal time frame for yourself put the percentage and measure your goals if you have an excel spreadsheet this is fine get a book and a barrel write them down at the end of this month always remind yourself that this is what i want to do at the end of this month i've set the time frame for my youtube too and i'm trying my best okay this is the amount of videos i'm going to post before the end of this year and I'm, I'm talking about good content. So make sure that you set realistic goals. Put a convenient time frame for you. And, end of, and at the same time, don't get too comfortable also. So you can, you know, have this energy when you're doing your, your, what's it called? You're setting your goals. And the other thing I would also say is make sure you reward yourself. Hmm. Make sure you reward yourself. See, don't kill yourself. I've told you. When you set time frame, you've done what you can do. Even if it's... 100 um, sorry even if it's 80 percent you can achieve you're doing a great job you are you're amazing even if it's 70 percent you can achieve that's fine that's awesome go and buy yourself shower man that's fine or take yourself out i like shower man anyway <laughs> enjoy yourself go out have fun yes this month i've set i've achieved my target for this month i set a goal put a target i've achieved it for this month i've achieved 80 percent my dear Praise yourself. Enjoy your process. Enjoy your progress. Don't compare yourself to every other person. It's your goals. It's your progress. It is your time frame. Let it be comfortable, convenient, and easy. Just do it happily. Do it happily. Don't set too much things for yourself. I say, oh, huh, this 2022, they will take it. I must do this. I must do that. See, at the end of the year, what's going to happen to you? You're going to be very, very disappointed. I usually tell people around me, even if it's two things I can achieve in a year, I am grateful for those things. I'm holding on to those things and I'm making progress. Don't push yourself too hard. Don't set unnecessary pressure on yourself. Reward yourself. Let your goals, let just, you know, flow with them. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your year. Have fun. Having fun too is part of goals. I put it that this year, I'm not fat. I must eat very, very. I enjoy myself have fun those are part of goals Let, let's be very very flexible enough okay so i have an assignment for you guys now you have to set your goals if you have not set your goals put a time frame and i pray that you all make progress and at the end of the day this year is going to be a blessed amazing year for us okay so guys i hope you did enjoy my video if you did do well to drop a comment under what other things have I not mentioned about goal setting? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't to like, share, hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed. See you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year!